creepy music. Broken music box. A rabbit footed out of paper. A stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. Wait! We'll poke it first. Oh gosh, it's laying down now. Set it up. Poke it. Set it up. Poke it. Set it up. Poke it. Sit up. Poke. Sit up. Poke it. It's dancing now. Alright, let's just take it. Received toy platypus. Dramatic music. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse, just beneath the cliff. This cliff. <gasps> Is that the same lighthouse in the painting? Wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess. You aren't supposed to go in there either. Hee <laughs> hee. Evil children. Remind me never to keep any locked cabinets around you too. What are you, what are you hiding in those cabinets? So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... We'll go see the lighthouse. Let's go, guys. Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick let's go kick some butts. Figuratively. Not literally. Let's save. Wait, could this ugly creature be the same thing that uh, we saw in the paintings before? Oh, there's the lighthouse. There it is. We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get to it. Get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> they can parachute? What? These children are living the high life. Holy crap. Let's start heading down. More squirrels. Oh no! My novelty be novelty beach ball? What? What? <laughs> Someone broke it. Oh, <clears throat> it was stupid, anyways. But, but it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had. Cue sad music. Oh, who could have? Who could have been so cruel? <laughs> Uh, don't worry, Dr. Rosenley will buy you another. No, don't do it. She will? Oh yeah, sure. Just ask just ask her afterwards. We kinda need to get going now though. Oh man, novelty beach ball. Let's go down here. Let's follow the squirrels. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? It was uh Dr. Rosalind, yeah. Wow. Wow, Dr. Watts. Oh, Dr. Rosalie. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Scumbag Watts. Oh, a squirrel. Squeal. It's a oh, squeal. What, do I click it? What? There's a battle scene? I thought this was just a... Wait, what? <laughs> Don't worry, kids. I got this. <laughs> Squirrel will attack with Tsunami Kick, Tornado Punch, Shoe, and other Shoe. Tommy Quinn. Oh, their last names are Quinn. And why is Neil Watts' HP already low? What? We'll hit it with the other shoe, guys. Yelling volume. There's a yelling volume. Loudest. This ends here. Ah, stop it! Oh, we'll tell Ma you a man, you animal abuse. <laughs> yeah, she'll call the cops on you. <laughs> oh, come on, I wasn't actually gonna. 
Don't you like role playing? <laughs> Squirrel has left the battle. You should you should you should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. <laughs> it's over. Got shut down, Dr. Watts. The lighthouse. What is this? In memory of River E. Wilds. Oh, this is this is the tombstone of Johnny's wife. Oh. River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse right there. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh, there's <gasps> Wait, is that what I this is it? This is from the painting. Blue and yellow, right? A multicolor paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have come here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these though? Yeah, you are. Yep. <laughs> what the? Someone's calling me. Nice ring tone. Nice ring tone. Ack, I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's head back. As for this, received paper rabbit. Is that a watermelon? What the cactus were you doing? Burning ants with a magnifying glass. <laughs> Using moonlight? Okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it was so hard to be a smartass nowadays. <laughs> You're pretty good at being half of it. Half of it. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on and we're going in. Oh, that's that's a helmet. Okay. Initiate. Ready or not, here he goes. Oh, there's a cactus on his head. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Oh, so this is early childhood, mid age. All right, all right. Control. Let's start saving this. Save. Oh, so this is all memory? Guess we'll go outside. What does the house look like outside? Looks fine to me. Looks like the same thing. Oh. There he is. There's Johnny. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosenlein, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. 
Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Regeneration? Oh, are you too from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there, if you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil, show some respect. It's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory and we need his cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. <laughs> Jeez. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for us, for helping us to get. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want the fame, the money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just do. I can already tell this is gonna be a this is gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We'll need to get to your we need to get to your childhood, but it's but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus we will need to tra traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps, which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for d direct access, as access will return here. That's when you will need to help us influence the childhood you want to become an astronaut. You would to the childhood you would you to be blah, blah. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut or to get on giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we're going to need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a mem memento of some sort to get us started? Oh, it's the, it's the rabbit. That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Receive note, moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Memento, prepare. Complete the memento, click the orbs to flip pieces. Oh man, I'm so good at this. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Let's save. Notes the moon. Objective, the moon in Johnny's memory is full. We have the same thing. Activate memento. Activate. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped.